Hello and welcome to this SwiftUI navigation tutorial. So as SwiftUI is becoming more and more popular, it's important to know how to navigate properly forward and back in any iOS app. We'll do that today using a navigation view, which is the equivalent of the UI navigation controller from UIKit. The starting point would be this structure made of three views, where we have a root view, a second view and a third view. So here at first we have defined a navigation view and it only has a navigation link to the second view. Then the second view has a navigation link to the third view and the third view is for now the endpoint of our flow. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so here is the root view. We can push the second view and then the third one. So to go back, we have these default navigation buttons. But what if we need to do that programmatically? So by pressing a button or by triggering some action, uh, we have to be able to go back in the flow, firstly step by step, and then from the third view back to the root, because that's the biggest challenge. So let's do that in a couple ways. The first way of achieving that would be by using the so-called presentation mode, which is an environment variable. We define that in the second view like this. Okay, and then we can use it programmatically, let's say, when pressing a button. So here, under the navigation link, we will create a button. Um, the action would be to call uh, on this presentation mode the wrapped value and the dismiss function. This will basically dismiss this view just like we would dismiss a view controller in UIKit. And label, let's put a simple text back. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, going to the second view, we have here the back button and if we press it, we go back to the root. Great, let's add some padding to this button just to make it look better. And we can do the same thing in the third view. This is an environment uh, property, so we can use it anywhere. It is built in in SwiftUI. So under the text, let's define the same button, which calls dismiss on the presentation mode and uh, it has the same back label. All right, here we have the root. We are pushing the second view and then the third one. So here from the back button, we go back to the second view and then to the root. All right, so this would be one way of going back, but only step by step. Next, we will implement the pop to root action directly from the third view to the root view. To do that, we need to use the is active label of navigation link, which expects a binding of type boolean. So here in, in the root, at first, let's define a state property. We call it root presenting because this will um, represent the fact that the root view is presenting something or not. At first it doesn't present anything. And here in the navigation link, there's this parameter called is active, to which we can pass this state property. So what happens is that when we press on the button, the second view is presented and the is active the root presenting property will be toggled to true. If we pass this property to the second view and change their back to false, it will automatically pop the second view and show the root again. So let's do that right now. Here we can define a binding property. All right. 
we don't really need this anymore okay and here we have to pass that argument which is exactly root presenting okay so now we have the boolean from the first view we have it in the second view because we are passing it right here and what we can do is change its state like this so let's see how that works okay we're here in the second view pushing back we're back to the root now the good thing about this is that we can pass this, the same property further along in the in the flow and we can we can set it to false from anywhere later in the flow so if, if we do that from the third view we will be able to pop to root exactly as we wanted at first let's do the same thing here Right, we don't need a presentation mode anymore and here in the third view exactly we need to pass again the root presenting property so we're passing it from the root to the second view here and then from the second view to the third view we also need to flip it from here and this it's better to update it to back to the root because right now it will pop back to the root let's see that in action we're pushing the second view then the third view and now we are back to the root and the second the second view still works so yeah that's the first way of uh, going back to the root of popping to the root in a swift ui navigation view and it's very common and easy to use you can pass this uh, boolean property as far as you want in the flow and uh, use it from there to pop to the root now there's another way of doing that and it's similar to what we did before with the presentation mode environment property which uh, it exists by default in swift ui but we have to define our own custom such environment property um, that will allow us to to have custom behavior and the code will be very similar but at first we need to create two small additional things so we will create a new swift file called custom environment property properties maybe we'll define more okay and here at first we will define a structure let's name it root presentation key which has to be of type um, we have to import swift ui and this is of type environment key this will have a default value which in our case what what we need is a property that's similar to to this um, this state property which is of type boolean and then uh, the binding that we have in the second and the third view so here it will be of type binding boolean and we need to give it an initial initial value of false okay now, besides this, we also need to extend the environment values to add our new environment value that will allow us to pop to the root. So, okay, we need to define here the new environment value, which is of type binding boolean. And now, and now we have to define getters and setters for it. It will be self root presentation key. 
and we also have to set it like that okay so we have a binding of type boolean that we can use as an environment value now how we can use that here in our views is firstly we have to set the environment value on the first view in our flow and that's done like this okay we have defined our new key which is a root presentation and the value it expects a binding of type boolean which you already have root presenting okay now uh, we don't need to pass it here in the constructor of the second view because we will have it on the environment like we had at first the presentation mode okay we will have it like this we don't need to pass this anymore and here mm, let's let's use the new environment property that we just defined we'll use it here exactly as we did with the presentation mode in the first example we have to call wrap value and this if we take a look it's of type boolean which we can set to false all right um Let's do the same thing for the third view because you don't have anything to pass anymore. We have the same environment property like that. And here we have representation where the value is false. Okay, so let's do a small recap. What we did is very similar to our first example with the presentation mode property which exists by default in SwiftUI but we defined our own custom property which is called root presentation of type binding boolean and what this allows us to put this boolean property which represents if anything is presented on the root view or not and we can set it on the environment so it's visible in all the subsequent views that will appear so we can use it anywhere just like like we do here in the second and the third view and now if we run the app here we have the root we have the second view and the third view here we're going back to the root from the third view and again from the second view so in this way we can navigate back to the root using an environment property which is pretty similar to the presentation mode property and we also have seen earlier the solution with passing uh, the state property from each view to the next one until the final view from which we want to pop to the root so SwiftUI is pretty new and we still have to discover it and test it but i hope this guide will help you to get a better idea on how to navigate back and especially back to the root in such a navigation view and in a longer flow because this is quite important in almost any ios app to be able to go back to the roots of of any flow so if that helped please let us know what would you like to see in the future from us and hopefully we'll see you again in the next video bye